Hello and welcome to episode 24 of The Beard Plays, The Dawn of Man, I am The Beard. The rain is falling here as we watch uh, the citizens of Mogoroth uh, do a little bit of harvesting here um, as we uh, approach winter. Welcome back. Um, this episode, we're sort of slowly marching towards the end. Um, I was just actually having a look uh, before the episode kicked off about what... Uh, what we need to do, and um, we have a uh, sort of three, three bits of technology left to to, to tick off the list. But we don't actually have quite a quite enough uh, knowledge points yet. I think we need a total of uh, 40, 44 before we can get them them all. We've only got thirty six, and um, we've got at least enough to get baking and uh, complex megalithum off the ground. Um, I don't think we're going to do that quite yet, though. Um, I think we're going to start to, we'll get still making, still making last. Um, we've expanded quite a lot. Uh, we've got a lot of donkeys and carts going. In fact, we have uh, 22 plows, 34 carts, 20 sledges. Uh, perhaps we need to do a bit of sledges. Oh, look at that. We've got a raider attack. And it's coming from this direction. Let's uh, sound the alarm. Uh, make sure everyone gets uh, back into the village here. This is the first time we've actually had a raider attack from uh, this side of the map. Let's actually have a look at uh, what we've got here. What are we dealing with? Looks like they've got some big shields. Uh, we've got the first group of people coming in with big shields. Um, they are coming in straight for this end of the map here. Um, I think we have a bunch of guys gathered over on this corner. We don't yet actually have uh, any towers up, any defensive towers up, so this is going to be a bit of a scrap, this one. Uh, I think what's going to happen is we're going to try and keep, uh, try and keep, are they going to go for the walls? Are they going to go straight for the walls? I think they might do that. I think they might go for the walls. Uh, some of them are going to go for the walls. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get some of them out here. Yeah? Couple of people to run out. Uh, yeah, run out, guys. Run out. Yeah. Come on, we need to. We need to fight these guys off here. Yeah. Ah, oh, they're taking down some of our walls. We get the dogs in. Ah, oh, we've lost a few. We lost four, we lost three humans, four dogs. The dogs are going at it though. Uh, it looks like we managed to gonna beat them off here. Yeah? One last raider here on the corner. Uh, we can uh, cancel the alarm now. Bit of cheering everyone. Very looking celebrating. I think we might have lost, uh, we lost quite a few uh, Quite a few villages there, unfortunately. Um, I think we might have lost uh, three villages there. One, we are at Norik. Um, who else did we lose? We lost Nurik. Uh, Gore. Um, yeah, that's a raider. We lost Edmund. Bannock. Yeah, it's carrying, carrying our dead off to the... Carrying our dead off to be buried, unfortunately. Um, I think there's a couple of carts coming out here to uh, collect a few of our dead. Slightly unfortunate. Um, yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, coming to to collect a few of these uh, unfortunate uh, dead members of our of our tribe here. Who died in that little fight there? I think uh, collecting of some resources. I think let's uh, let's uh, try get those uh, defensive structures rebuilt here. Yeah? Uh, we lost a uh, we lost a few a few bits of wall there, uh, which is unfortunate, uh, but uh, shouldn't be too hard to replace. Stone is not a not a hard resource to come by, um, and they didn't manage to take down our guard tower. Although I do think having had that attack happen. Um, I think a lot of yeah, it seems seems a lot of our uh, seems a lot of our dead have been taken off to be buried. Um, pity about the dogs. 
really big pity about dogs. Never, never like losing dogs. Um, yeah, the Raiders though, no love for them. We just let their bodies rot, it seems. <laughs> it's quite brutal in a way. Um, looks like we have a, 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 a tower going up here. Um, I think I'm going to I'm gonna up the priority on this tower too. Um, try and get, um, try and make sure that we uh, get a little bit more protection here going. Um, and I think we should actually, um, actually already uh, reinforce platforms here. Eh? Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, put a couple of reinforced platforms in already. Um, I think it's uh, worth having those uh, built up, uh, even though we are not quite yet there. Um, ooh, ooh, we didn't really want to do that. That was a mistake. I apologize for that profusely. Exiting out there to Windows. Rookie error. Uh, but it happens. So yeah, what we've done is we've uh, we just put a couple of platforms along there. Uh, it looks like that tower is going up. Yep. Uh, let's increase the priority on these platforms as well. Um, and I think we can increase the. I think we can increase the, the priority of this wall. As a whole. Um, just make sure that uh, we don't get uh, struck by any of those raider attacks anytime soon. And it's up up the priority of everything along here. Yeah. So yep, there you go. If we're gonna have this have this uh, defensive structure uh, built out. We've already got another tower going up here. So it's all good news. Hopefully the next raid will not result in such casualties. All right. So what we were talking about before before we were so rudely interrupted by that. Uh, let's just speed up time here a little bit, move it a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, we were talking about uh, our knowledge points, of which we need, I think we needed 44. We've got sitting on 36, so a few more to go. Um, and we have also built, I think, most, we've built almost everything, yep. We have everything, I think what we were going to do was, apart from, we've only got a couple of, uh, uh, we've got a couple of uh, spiritual items here, like a statue, um, and banners that we that we have not yet uh, specked out. So actually, what I was thinking of doing is I was thinking of getting a statue going. Um, feels like a good time to do it. Uh, we do have four megaliths in charge or in the bank here. So what I was doing is I was thinking of putting the statue here, um, kind of as you as you go through this uh, this uh, open section here. Um, of the village it feels like a good spot to put it um, and I think I also I'm going to spec out here another little residential area um, so let's put that statue over there and put that up on high because I think what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring a lot of prestige into our village um, I think we have quite a lot of cards going across here um, to make sure that we are completing this wall um, it looks like the repairs on the wall are going pretty quickly. Um, and hopefully the uh, rest of the defenses are, will go up fairly soon too. Let's actually get a little bit closer in here and have a look at these men doing, doing their good work here. Comes another donkey cart. I think he's going out. Yeah, he's coming in with... Uh, what do you got? What do you got in the donkey cart? Yeah, quite a bit of stone. Came to drop quite a bit of stone for the for the work that's happening on the walls here. What's this? Uh, some sled with some grain on it for some reason parked over here. But yeah, really good to see. Uh, really good to see the 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 fortifications going back up here. And um, we have another guard tower up there, which is good to see. Looking a bit more significantly. Um, what's the word? Um, intimidating, I think. And we have a blizzard rolling in. Um, interesting. Uh, not 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 the best time of year to be to be working on, on a lot of these things. But there you go. So yeah, that's megalithum in. So we got that going. Let's actually have a look. See where that's on the on the on the list work list here. Do we have people? It looks like we have Iman going out to fetch 
in the dead of winter. Uh, let's actually follow. Let's actually do this. You are going on what it looks like a very long march uh, past a mine that we have going. I hope you have warm clothes with you. Okay, yep. Uh, that did not seem to last very long. Um, I really hope that that's not too far away. Um, yep, you're cold. That blizzard it was not a good idea to go out in that blizzard. Please do not die. Oh, my gosh, you really did make a very long journey away from from home for that for that megalith, didn't you? You're coming very close to death here. This was a dangerous walk. Please make it inside. You're almost home. Yes, yes, yes. Go into a hut. Ah, oh, okay. Good, okay. So, uh, it seems that uh, winter is not a good time to go for megaliths. Uh, the megalith that we are trying to fetch, it seems, is all the way out here. Oh no, we died of hypothermia. See, this is what happens when people try and make ridiculous missions uh, at crazy times of the year. Um, it seems that the megalith we are going after is down this way. There it is. There it is. There is the megalith. Uh, we have got a long way to pull it, uh, all the way across there. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's speed up this game. Let's hope we get to the end of winter fairly soon. Um, because that is what is slowing us down. Um, the animals have no straw or food. We have no food, straw to feed animals. Everyone has died of a disease. Cattle has died of starvation. This is not good news. This is not good news at all. Um, yeah. We really need to... Donkey has died of starvation. Girl has died of starvation. Times two. Oh my gosh, our horse has died of starvation. Cattle. Oh my gosh, this is not good at all. Um, donkey. Uh, please. Oh, you go. Okay, spring. Uh, go out and get the food, everyone. Oh, population reached 200. That's it. We have reached 200. That is a, a really good milestone. And it looks like we got a, an achievement unlocked as well. Uh, two achievements unlocked. Interesting. Uh, hadn't unlocked those two before. Uh, I really hope that we actually managed to get some straw in on this next, uh, next, uh, next run. In fact... <coughs> Excuse me for clearing my throat there. I almost feel like I don't want to build any new settlements until uh, we uh, we get some straw in because uh, I I think that uh, yeah we uh, we seem to uh, we seem to have a problem with uh, feeding our animals throughout winter. Oof, really is getting uh, tough on the game for the saving. And I'll ooh, look these the lip. Our defenses have gone up here, so we now have a tower up, which is good news. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take down this birch over here, um, and probably this oak too. Uh, we might leave that birch up over there. Um, and I think that we're probably going to take that one down, and that one down as well, and probably that one down, and that one down. What we want to do is we want to want to clear a bit of a, a bit of a patch here. Um, in case we get attacked again, uh, we don't want to be too hemmed in with trees, etc. We want a bit of a, an open killing field over here, as it were. Um, Alright, so, yeah. Um, as I said, it's it's not like we have uh, very far to go uh, with everything here. Uh, we are uh, really, really boosting over here on the production. Uh, we've got... 12 bronze swords, 6 iron swords, 5 steel swords. We really do need a lot more swords though. Um, but we also need a lot more straw. Um, and I would really like, uh, really like us to have uh, a lot more straw actually. So uh, I'm really going to hold off on, uh, hold off on the pending tasks as such. Um, and let them focus on uh, planting here. Um, we need to plant as much as we can. 
um, as we come towards the end of spring. Um, the more they can plant, the better. Looks like we're going to get a couple of fields there. Hopefully we'll get a couple of fields down here in the corner. Looks like we got a couple of donkeys coming. And we did not get actually that many planted, unfortunately. Um, but let's see how this one goes. I think that, uh, you know, uh, we did actually add quite a few tasks to the plate there for a while. Um, and... Uh, I think, uh, you know, let's actually lower the priority across the board here. Um, and maybe that'll help us get, uh, uh, help us get, um, ooh, down, down, we want to go down. Is it this one? Yeah, down. Uh, maybe that'll help us uh, get, a, get a little bit more out of the fields, uh, as it were. So let's lower the, lower the importance here. I mean, we've got those 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 limits, so it's not like they're not going to come and produce uh, produce anything. Uh, what are these waiting for? These are just waiting for donkeys. Uh, we can roll a load of limits over there. This one here too, I think. Um, and what do we got over here? I think what we can do is we can start taking these crafters down, can't we? Because um, we can actually start replacing them with uh, um, uh, if you think about it uh, we can start replacing them with um, workshops uh, maybe yep a workshop too um, and workshops and what else um, yeah workshops and then some of these uh, production um, and then the blacksmiths and metalsmiths yeah so maybe put a workshop there and a blacksmith and metal stuff here, hey? Um, actually, let's do that. Um, shall we do that? Do you think that's a good idea, considering that we are still relying on flint quite a lot? No, let's do that, eh? Let, let, let's take it out. Let's take that one down. That one's going to be the first one we take down, I think. Um... Yeah, it's the first one. We actually have no need, I think, anymore for any of these uh, leather old tents. Um, I think this is the first, uh, the first, uh, the first structure we actually ever put up. Uh, let's go actually see if this this trader. Where's this trader? Where's the trader? Trader, trader, trader. Do you have straw for me? No, you do not. We also. That's it. We need to build bear and water. Ha. Huh. I knew there was something. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We are going to build a workshop. Was it going to be a little workshop? No, we were going to build metallurgy. We are going to build a metalsmith, I think. Can we build two metalsmiths, in fact? Uh, one, two. Yes, let's build two metalsmiths. Um, so, one. Ooh, no, we cannot, we cannot build two. Uh, metallurgy, metalsmith. Let's build one. So, one metalsmith there. She'll take the place of that. Um, and this we can recycle as well. Uh, it's good to, good to be taking down these old tents and replacing them with other structures. Um, shall we see if that megalith has made it any further along the plane here? Ooh. It might have. It might have gone a lot for. Ooh, is this it here? There it is. There it is. It hasn't actually gone that far. Um, it's only over here. All right. We still haven't even made it across the river yet. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We've got our metal smith up here. Um, and I think well, with the space over here, what that means is we can actually put a workshop over here. Yep. Workshop. Feels like a good place to put a workshop. So workshop right right here as soon as we come in. Um, and I think this is the last, this is the last one here. The last one of the lot that can come down. Um, yep, that's the last one of the lot. Looks like the workshop's going up. Uh, yep, workshop's going up over here. And I think that's it. That's all the 10 structures gone. 
And Morgoth has really now moved into an age that is beyond. I'm actually surprised these ten structures have lasted this long. I suppose we needed them to uh, help keep up some of our some of our bows, etc. Um, uh, now that this is up, let's just make sure that we uh, let's have a look at the limits. What are we going on the limits of plows? Forty. Let's actually take the plows down to yeah, forty. 40, uh, 125, yep, slings, we go, yep, yep, limit, there you go, yep, and let's uh, keep continuous production on this as well, that's another good spot for continuous production there, and then what are we building here, we are doing metallurgy, and we're going to put a blacksmith here, huh? yeah, so blacksmith over there, uh, feels like a good place to put blacksmith down here. Yep, there you go, blacksmith. So that's that. That's kind of how how our tents are, our constructions have been sort of replaced there. Uh, looks like there's a cart being built outside this uh, workshop at the moment. Um, yeah, but essentially, uh, what happens is is that instead of uh, having that sort of crafting tent, um, we've got a number of different little spaces. We've got this uh, metal smith. We've got um, the uh, um, uh, blacksmith which is over here and then the workshop um, and then obviously our clothes are made in our outfitters which are down here um, ooh, really is uh, waiting struggling there on the on the save uh, yeah the outfitters over here making sure that we that we keep our clothes our clothes count up keeping everyone warm from that that perspective that's a blacksmith setup okay so we've done our full conversion here so we've got a blacksmith going on here ooh, let's uh, just make sure that uh, people are making things over here. Um, yep, and that's that's it. So we've got some blacksmiths out that side of the world now as well. There's at least one over there. Oh, Karen has contracted a disease. Uh, don't, go, don't go be a Karen. All right, so that's good. We're sitting in this winter, um, and we actually have uh, saved up a considerable amount of straw, um, which is good. Um, because I think that that means that if we get through this winter, we shall hopefully be able to plant a whole bunch more fields um, and stock up a bunch more. So I think it was a good, good, good thing there, um, holding on or holding on the on the addition of any other additional structures there that needed us to build some straw. Um, although it seems like no one has completed this this yet, this reinforced gate here. Yeah, that's a huge oversight um, and these platforms here are in desperate need of completion and the task list has just shot up through the roof as we have now moved into spring in the need of planting so I'm actually going to uh, pause uh, for a moment um, and actually sit here um, and let them plant these fields uh, not add anything to their plan it looks like one of our cattle has died of old age as well <laughs> Which is what our cattle count now down to two, so I think we might have to go on a little bit of a domestication run um, on that front um, just now. Um, because, uh, ooh, there's a, oh my goodness gracious, 13 horses have contracted a disease. Please let that not be fatal. Can you see them all out there in the field? Oh, I am... That is not good news, um, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we need them. We need them to be pulling plows. I hope they don't die. Please get better. It looks like they're getting better. So yeah, we're gonna try and see how many of these fields we can we can plant. It looks like there's quite a few. Um, although the workload is still high. Um, we did save up a lot of straw over that last winter though, or quite a bit actually, not that much, we only got 54, 54 in stock coming out of, coming out of that. So let's see, looks like we're getting quite a few more fields, fields, field plowed and sown this time around. There's a lot more manual, manual labor going on in here as well. Um, I think we might get... It looks 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 promising. 
Looks hugely promising. Looks like we might get quite a few going here. Oh. Yep. Ah, we might even get all of our fields done here. On this, uh... On this go. Which would be nice. Would be very nice, in fact. Okay, we're maybe not going to get all of the fields, uh... Field sown, but the majority of them it seems. Uh, there you go. Um, only a few little patches here and there that we seem to manage to not get to, like a little bit over there and a little bit over there. But good job, everyone. That was a good, good planting that that season. It seems that we are very warm at the moment, so let's just let everything, uh, let's just let everything grow through the season here. Um, really think it's a good good thing maybe what we should do is while while that's all happening maybe we should uh, go down here and have a look uh, and see this is bison are they not um, bison I want to go and see if we can find us any more uh, cows to domesticate I think they are Eurochs that we are looking for are these deer and remember that we're still on a deer we're still on a deer these deer Reindeer. Uh, this is a deer, though, an adult male. Um, so he's going to get earmarked. Um, let's see. What's our, what, are, what, are, what are out here? What are out here? A wild horse. A wild horse. What if it's Mouflon? Mouflon. That looks like Ibex. Deer. Yeah, family of deer. Um, I think think that's how many is there one two three four five six seven seven deer that's a good load of deer i think we're still about 15 deer or so off from achieving our our deer goal uh are these musk ox nope we cannot domesticate the musk ox um and nor can we domesticate the pig um but there are some wild donkey but we don't need wild donkey we are really looking for uh deer Yes, you five can be earmarked. I think that we might be coming towards our deer. Um, our deer uh, might be achieving our deer quota quite soon. Yes, the Urochs. There we go. Let's. Uh, that's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. Maybe there's a couple more over here. Yeah. Um, and this should help us get our cattle. Uh, young male. Yep. This should help get our cattle cattle counts up a little bit. Um, yep. Especially now in summer. Uh, yep. Cattle, cow, cattle count up a little bit. Uh, it looks like everyone's a little bit sad here. Uh, wolf, there was a wolf attack. Um, yep. Oh, and it looks like uh, well done, everyone. You've got our platforms up. That's very good to see. Uh, a little bit more defenses along the side here. I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. Indeed. Um, and I really would like to finish our, our defenses um, along the walls here. Because I think that we, we're going to need a couple more platforms as well. Um, but I'm hesitant to do so. Because are these... Uh, what are these? Bison. Yes, bison. Uh, because what we want to do is I really want to make sure that we uh, actually get up... Let's actually hunt these bison, just for fun, you know. It seems that a uh, hunt every now and then is a good thing to be doing. And bison, we have not hunted very many. Um, and I'd like to get uh, the harvesting of that done without having too much on the plate of everyone. Um, because straw is what I'm after. Uh, enough straw to last the winter um, and enough straw so that we can build a few more houses, um, I think. Um, I do think, however, that what we can do, actually, is uh, we can actually have a look out here at building water mills. I think this is a good place. Shall we build, shall we build a water mill there? Let's build a water mill there. Um, and I think let's build another water mill over here. Uh, yeah, a water mill over there. It feels like a good place. Let's build two water mills for now. Let's see how many we need. I don't know how many we need. New humans are continuously joining the settlement. Let's see how many. We've got space for nine more. Which is really great to have a consistent over... And yeah, this is what I wanted to happen. It is now autumn uh, or fall. 
um, and we have a very high work workload as we are trying to harvest as much uh, of these fields as absolutely possible. I would really like to store up as much straw as I humanly can right now. Um, see how much we've got left over at the end of winter. Um, because uh, if we can go through another a season of uh, solid uh, solid planting like this, I think that we can build a few more houses and we can up our population count considerably here. We can take ourselves towards the 250 mark, uh, which would be very nice. There goes our straw count up. We're ticking up now. Almost at 120, sitting in... Very quickly, I reckon we're gonna go over. We're gonna we're gonna have a good stock here. Ah, uh, look at that! Our first statue has gone up. Look at that! Megalith has come in, and we have a statue um, that has gone up. And in fact, actually, that seems like a good time for us to actually have a look at the stats. Look at that! We have a prestige of over a thousand here. Our settlement is incredibly well known, um, which is amazing. Um, and we actually have uh, enough uh, knowledge points now to tick everything off the list. Uh, let's actually just go further down here and actually have a look. 94 deer. So we only have six more deer to hunt and we have ticked that off the list as well. So very close to achieving everything that we need to achieve in this game. Um, so definitely just the straw thing that we need to get going here. Please everyone, let's uh, try and harvest as quick as we possibly can. Harvest, harvest, harvest. I think that we might... Uh, do we have enough sickles? We need more sickles, don't we? Yeah, sickles. We need more sickles so that more people can come and help harvest here. Because we're not going to get all of this done. What a waste. Look at that. All of this here. We could have could have harvested. But uh, it seems that we do not have enough people. It's why it is imperative for us to get uh, more humans into our settlement. Look at this. Uh, we have uh, granaries up here. This is great. Look at this. Water mills. This is just looking beautiful along the edge here. Oh, look. Guess one turning. Look at that. We really have progressed here as a society. Do you remember when we were uh, churning... There's a simple couple of tents sitting here. Now look at this. This is amazing. I'm really, 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 really loving this. And I think that actually to celebrate, um, and as we move into winter, in fact, and buy our statue here, and this is actually kind of what I was, uh, I was kind of gunning at right from the very beginning, is I think that we're going to put our brewery here by the statue. Because nothing says celebrating to the gods like a brewery <laughs> right by your uh, right by your religious uh, icons so statue facing out that way I think statue faces that way but uh, behind it we shall have a brewery uh, I think two breweries we're we gonna put one let's put one hey okay? one brewery whoa we got a cape line attack in the village brewery is set up though uh, let's see what happens when we're in this brewery. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel this brewery. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to build quite... We're going to build two breweries. We're going to build breweries like this. We're going to build them. Let's leave a walkway there. Well, we're going to build a brewery there. And we're going to build a brewery here, I think. Uh, breweries are, are going to be really important. Let's, 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 let's hire, hype up the speed here. Um, of those breweries. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the amount of straw that we have saved here. Um, it seems that we managed to uh, manage to feed all of our animals over, over winter. Hopefully we've bred a few more cows as well. Um, although it's dropping. I was hoping it was going to stay over a hundred. Um, but uh, it seems not. But we do actually, we have our breweries going up. This is our first brewery over here, which is brilliant news as we're hitting spring. Hey, brewery. We got a brewery up in spring. Oh, and our workload is shot through the roof again as it's time to plant. Really do need to get some extra humans into this village, I think. Um, up goes the... 
Up goes this. What does this need? This needs uh, grain, of which we have a lot, and water. And what is our limit on this? 10. Let's take this up to 30. Uh, we've always got to have a little bit of beer around. I can't wait to see someone kind of bring us in. Look at that. Bought the grain in. Ah, wonderful. Look at that. Making some beer. Whoa, yeah. We have beer. Haha. <laughs> I think that's this episode, eh? Beer. The tavern is open. The tavern is open. And I think that that is a really great way to end this episode with the establishment of Morgoroth's first tavern, or first two taverns. It's not really a tavern, it's just a brewery. But uh, yeah, Morgoroth's uh, craft brewery now being served. We've got a lager, maybe an IPA, who knows. Thank you for joining me, The Beard. This has been uh, episode 24 of The Dawn of Man. I shall see you tomorrow for episode 25. Um, where I think that uh, we might all bring this to a close if things go to plan. Let's see. I am the beard. Signing off.